Well, welcome to the Top Gun Show. Today we have John Lindsley, who's the channel chief for Mitel. And um, I, it, it's, a, it's amazing that I finally hooked up with you. <laughs> I, I had to follow you onto your private jet. It was great. Um, yes, this is true. Yesterday he was in Sandy, Utah at a Polaris <laughs> webinar. Today, uh, just leaving Northern California after visiting our team. Tomorrow, going to Chicago, Chicago. Illinois. Yeah. Um, after that, for the weekend, you're going to go back to Atlanta yep. to pick up your family and take them out to the beach. And then, then you're going to Monterey um, later <laughs> all on. All in a day's work. All, all <laughs> within a week. So I don't think anybody grows up going, I want to be a channel chief, because it's probably not a lot of fun. It's, it's very glamorous. Yeah, yeah. But hey, thanks for letting me on your jet. And I'm really glad you got on the Top Gun Show. to be here. I've been, this is one of my... Uh, this is one of my bucket list items. <laughs> uh, I've got a few things on the list. I love definitely it. one of the, the uh, items on my list is to be a guest on your show. So thank well, you for you, having me. You've made it. <laughs> it's great it's, to be it's here. like doubling your quota. It's just a fun thing to do. Um, I was looking on your LinkedIn profile, and, and uh, your primary responsibility, in case you don't know this, is growing and scaling the UCAS and CCAS business through the channels across the Americas. So does that scare, I mean that, when I read that, I started to shake. Does that keep you up at night or do you embrace that or that, that's a big responsibility? Uh, occasionally it does, uh, occasionally it does. It depends on the time of the quarter, I think, but uh, generally speaking, it's something I really embrace. Uh, we're, we're transforming a 46 year old company, helping our customers go to the cloud, whether it be public or private or hybrid. Uh, and it's a really big business. It's yeah. a fast-moving business. It's a fast-growing business. We're channel first, channel only at Mitel. And uh, because of all those things happening, it's something that we really embrace in a pretty big way. Well, you've been there almost two years, right? Yeah, year, year and two half, years two in December. Years, right? Two years in December. And you've made significant changes at Mitel. Let's talk about the evolution of Mitel because just in the last five years, I think you've gone from premises based to cloud based you've gone from direct sales to a hundred percent channel I mean that's quite an evolution for it, such a big company it is it's kind of that transformation that uh, that I referenced earlier uh, and, and to be clear we're, we're still we still have a very very big and very strategic uh, premise business right uh, but as far as the growth in the cloud it's just it's off the chain you know we're growing the industry's growing at 20 percent a year we're beating that. We've tripled the size of our channel team in the past year and a half. Wow. Everything we do is through our channel partners. So uh, the evolution, and by the way, that will continue uh, from a channel-centric, channel-first standpoint. That will continue. So it's really an exciting time in this fast-moving space. Yeah, that's, that's, that's crazy how fast things are moving. Um, I was at a Tolaris event, I believe, and there was a venture capitalist that specialized in uh, technology, UCAS, CCAS technology, and he showed a a graph on the screen that there's like 85 providers. <laughs> Only and, 85. Yeah, some, I don't remember the exact number, but um, the, a, a huge number of, of UCAS providers, and he predicted in the next like, you know, five years, it'll go down to five five providers and that's it. So um, why don't you talk about what's gonna happen in this crazy industry with consolidation? I think, it's anybody's, I think it's anybody's guess. I don't know if it'll be five, and I certainly don't know if it'll be in the next three years, but I think at some point, this industry has got to center around a handful of market leaders. Uh, 85 is way too many, 40 is way too many. There's a lot of activity around that is so top line focused. It's gotta be centered around not only superior technology and a great customer experience, but also the ability for these suppliers, these, these vendors to actually make some money while we're, while we're doing it, right? So uh, I do think there will be consolidation not sure when, um, but it's got to happen because yeah. while the market is huge and it's growing significantly year over year, um, and it will be for the next several years, uh, it's you know forty five part or forty five suppliers is probably a few too many. It'll, yeah, it'll, it'll centralize down. Yeah, and I think down. also that the, the, you know that there are suppliers that are focused only on top line, not profitability, profitability or cash flow. Those are dead ends coming too. So. Um, they're going to be forced to find a suitor, or, you know. Uh, align with a leader. Align with a leader. Yeah. Uh, do your homework. There's plenty of uh, research to be done. There's plenty of other customers and peers to talk with. But do your homework because yeah. there's a lot of folks that are not as focused on profitability. And I do, I do think that's a really important piece right. in running a business. Yeah. 
And talk about the value proposition. I mean, you guys are really unique. You guys really do stand out in a crowded field. We absolutely do. And, you know, MyTel has been around for 46 years. We've got over 70 million endpoints around the world. So it's oh, a really, wow. really big business. Uh, the cloud piece, uh, whether it's public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud, we, we, offer, we offer it all. Uh, channel first, channel centric, there's no conflict over here. Deal registration is easy. It's an end-to-end -end Mitel solution, including the phones. Sometimes the phones get overlooked, but don't overlook the phones. Right. If you're moving from a, a PBX experience and, and uh, you know, working with a company like Mitel, we understand the little known features that customers just expect to work in right. the cloud. Things like uh, things like bridged call appearances, things like call park and paging and intercom, things that you don't necessarily think about until they're not there, right? So right. having that legacy is so important. Uh, project management of every deal, assignment of a customer success resource for every single customer. Uh, there's a lot of good, unique uh, qualities that come along with a Mitel solution uh, that we're really, really proud of. Yeah. You know, it's been said that um, people don't buy from companies, they buy from people. Yeah. And, and I'll, I'll, I'll attest, I mean, we do a lot of business with Mitel, and everybody that we've dealt with for, on behalf of our customers are just good people. Yeah. They're, they're fun people, they're easy to do business with, they take care of the customer. We're working hard at that yeah. every day. We're working hard at that every day, and, and it's, that's kind of a journey that never really right. ends, right? right. Uh, that goes back to the crowded market. It goes back to being a channel first, channel only company. We just really have to try harder. There's yeah. a lot of choices for our, our, our partners out there and we have to try harder with a, a better experience for you, a better experience for our shared customers and just an overall ease of commerce that right. comes along with embracing this big market that's in front of us. So I'm a simple guy. Let's boil it down to the one thing. I, John, do you know that there are millions and, and millions of viewers? Yes. Well, I had to, I mean, I had to, the parking lot was just full of people. The, yeah. the, 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 the barriers had yeah, to make way from my limo, yeah. the, the, the confetti cannons in, right. in the lobby. It was crazy. That's why we had to come to your jet. I mean, that's, <laughs> we had to escape the crowds. <laughs> Uh, one thing, the one thing, uh, look, it, it's end-to-end -end Mitel, including the phones, in a, in a channel first, channel only company, where we're an industry leader in cloud. We've got a really big premise business, we're obviously a, a leader in the, the premise business as well. Sometimes that success actually overshadows right. uh, the work that we're doing in the cloud, and, and we're a leader, award-winning in the cloud space, and we're, we doubled our business last year. Uh, and we're going to double it again this year. Right. So it's probably more than one thing. But uh, That's okay. It's all good stuff. <laughs> it's all good stuff. Okay, let's close the show with something personal, but not too personal. Um, let's say that you, uh, I was going to sign you up for a talent show. Okay. What, what would be your performing act uh, at a talent show? It would have to be an impressive performance of eating at an all-you-can-eat pizza buffet like pizza wow if I was stranded on an island I would just eat pizza, pizza. if you uh, had a pizza oven I mean you that <laughs> if I had a choice to go to a nice steak dinner or go to the pizza parlor down the street I'd probably pick the pizza parlor my my, my talent would be my consumption of pizza at the all-you-can-eat pizza I buffet. think that's entertaining they have that hot dog guy that you know is on ESPN <laughs> yeah, right. I think we should lobby to have a pizza thing. eating contest let's start it up let's yeah. make it let's make yeah. it a thing well, I just felt some turbulence, so I, I, I got to go back and sit in my seat. Thanks a lot for being on the show. Thank you for having me. Appreciate Very it. Very good to be here. Thank you.